have here in the basement with us tonight. We have Stereo Empire. Thank you guys for joining us this evening. Welcome to oh, the you're basement. Very welcome. <laughs> Thank you fancy. for having us. Oh, of course. Um, so, as always, I want to remind everyone to uh, go check out our Facebook page if you want to interact with us live during our broadcast. Uh, you can go to facebook.com slash from a basement. And uh, if you have any questions or comments for um, us or our musicians that we have here with us tonight, uh, that's the place to do it. And um, Adam will have that up throughout the show. So. Remember, we always. highly encourage you guys to interact with us. Also, um, you can watch, if you're just listening on CrescentHillRadio.com, you can actually watch um, Stereo Empire do their thing. Their thing? <laughs> uh, the thing. I, 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 you stream <laughs> that TV. You just search Crescent Hill Radio and uh, and you can watch them. It's it's gonna be fun. I'm really I'm really excited about this. Um, I've been looking forward to having you guys in. Uh, so that clip that I just played was Take My Hand, right? You yes. guys have two uh, recordings out right now, Take My Hand and My Infatuation, both yes. of which we've played here in the basement. So, oh, man. But where uh, could people find those if they wanted to find those? Absolutely, yeah. Good question. You can actually find that uh, direct linked on our Facebook, which is facebook.com slash Stereo Empire. Awesome. Um, you can actually... <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> He's just saying, like, check, like, yes, you're oh, check, oh, yes, you right. Can do that. <laughs> Good. I, 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 don't I have, know. I have his approval. <laughs> uh, there's a direct link on there to our Reverb Nation where you can download, listen, um, awesome. purchase, all that good stuff. Good. Yeah. Very good. Uh, so. I forgot where I was going to go with this, but um, we're a little off tonight. I apologize. Um, so you guys kind of hit the ground running, uh, basically. How long have you guys officially been a band? <laughs> That's a really it's great been, question. It's been, what, four months, five months? Four months is probably about four right. Four months. Yeah. yeah. Because we had Jerry Davis, his solo stuff, mm -hmm. uh, we had you here back in February, mm -hmm. um, which I can't believe it's been that long already. Yeah, it's like, what, our Bro, second man. show? That so. was our second show, and we had Jerry in. So, And by the way, I need to introduce you guys. We have Morgan <laughs> and Hello. Jerry and Gilby back there. What's up? <laughs> it's about three-fifths of, uh, of Stereo Empire. It but is exactly three-fifths. Most of you guys. <laughs> make it. Make it work for us tonight. Most of you guys are here. <laughs> a portion. <laughs> a, a healthy portion. So, a, he uh, a hefty portion. <laughs> you guys have been a fan for about like four or five months, but uh, how'd you guys meet? Oh, Lord. This story uh, well, it could be long, but I'm going to condense it as much as possible. <laughs> you can um, be long go with want, it. We? Yeah, we don't, we don't mind. We cool. like stories. So. Great. Well, <laughs> That's what you're here, here we for. Go. You ready? <laughs> well, basically... Uh, I moved down here probably a little over a year and a half ago. Okay. Um, just looking for a bigger city for more opportunities. Mm -hmm. I had. Where are you from in, originally? Uh, Richmond, Kentucky. Okay. Um, originally, originally yeah. from Washington D.C. Oh wow. Um, moved to Kentucky about ten years ago. Um, I love it here. You know, yeah. uh, where I was living, I, I found another a, a band that that I was in previously. Uh, we traveled we actually you know started making a name for ourselves mm -hmm. but um push came to shove and you know it didn't work out yeah in the end um so i moved away from richmond to try to find something bigger something better more mm -hmm. opportunity um and it just came down to i wrote, started writing some solo stuff and, and throwing throwing that around and um, eventually, you know, started going out to the, some of the bars with the open mic nights. Yeah. And some just some of the the random places where music was kind of prominent. Uh, yeah, we so actually I, saw you do a open mic night. It, to Steve, you, you and Jerry together at Stevie Ray's. Ray's. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Oh my yeah. gosh! Yeah, I guess you did. Ago. How long ago was that? <laughs> that, was, that was before we even had our radio show. Wow. Yeah. 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 I've I completely like completely forgot. Ago. Yeah, that was <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yeah, so I you know. Just I met Jerry first, I think. Yeah, I met him first uh, out at uh, Stevie Ray's. I yeah. really, really loved his music and just his overall chipper demeanor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All, always a shine on this guy. It, oh, yeah. Jerry's a yeah. dude, for sure. Oh, just, yeah. yeah <laughs> you can see it right now. Just look at him. Oh, yeah. Give him the oh. blue steel. Oh, jeez. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's a handsome man. Oh. Um, <laughs> the oh, cameras are all broken now, for yeah. those of you who aren't <laughs> watching the Ustream. <laughs> Which hopefully you are. Hopefully you are. <laughs> 
but um you know it just it's it's a really to make a long story short i met uh i met jerry at stevie ray's yeah uh, we started playing together uh, just some covers yeah, and different things and yeah we were mostly just doing stuff uh on acoustic guitars mm -hmm. really and you know that's that's really what got it started and then uh you know eventually he started playing with rob and then rab rab, rab yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh yeah, he's from ohio me. <laughs> Jerry is not not Rab. Not Rab. It's not what I said. <laughs> uh, so yeah, then started playing the bass for him. Good Slap at the bass, mom. Yeah. This, this guy, I, I I can I you know we'll get back to the 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 story. We're kind of drifting off here, but this guy not only is a talented songwriter and a, and a very talented singer, but he had never really played the bass before. I think he'd maybe tinkered around on it, and I was like, hey man, you know this this is what we would really like for mm -hmm. you to do like we want you a part of this and like I, we want your talents and what you have to offer sort of thing and um this guy man i i there's a, a new song we were working on the other day and uh i was sitting back listening as we were playing his his bass line and it's like this guy is is now a bassist <laughs> <laughs> on top of everything else that he he is jerry of all trades nice. jerry of all trades <laughs> That's Seriously. not. It's my business name. Yeah. <laughs> That's not an understatement yeah. by any means. And, you need to get um, cards. Yeah, I was, I was just gonna say. <laughs> you need to get those uh, do you cards. Have any cards there? No, no. I, I had a, a joke with one of my friends. I made a business card where I wrote. I mean, just all kinds of ridiculous things <laughs> I could do. You know. Uh, everything from, he doesn't uh, fix computers but he does fix motorcycles yeah, Indeed. yeah. yeah. you do it's a like lot i've mechanic, seen that garage yeah. plumber sharpshooter whatever <laughs> <laughs> whatever you cat, need cat wrangler <laughs> you know what i mean I like those actually we're gonna go into business the cat wrangling together oh yeah there nice. go. yeah my cats Brief. i was about <laughs> to say i know where you should start <laughs> that's right yeah. well you know the fire they don't like to come out just for the cat in the tree anymore they that's have a too lot more. cliche like yeah. they're like they, they don't want to be those guys they don't want that you so know? now you can so. call jerry <laughs> yeah jerry and morgan cat wranglers <laughs> where you could do the whole commercial you could be have you ever had your cat stuck in a tree. I'm good at that. The fire brimstone <laughs> coming down from the sky. We'll call one eight hundred eight 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 cat wrangler. There was this. Uh, there was this. We're gonna British... have people like calling that number. Like, yeah. Of... <laughs> there was this British uh, uh, comedy I've been watching this skit thing where they had a, a confuse a cat as one of their skits. It was, <laughs> you know, they brought in this whole military looking. Uh, uh, ordeal to confuse this cat, and that was—I mean, it was just a cat that was depressed. We love British the, comedy, so yeah. Good yeah. <laughs> like. Check that out. Who doesn't like YouTube? British comedy. Confuse a cat. Yeah. But anyways, so then suddenly you guys well, met Gilby. Well, we Morgan met him. And we we both met him at, at uh, Stevie Ray's at the oh, okay. uh, singer songwriter con yeah. uh, competition. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, nice. I lost Where miserably. Really? Yeah, Morgan won like crazy. Oh. So you know. He oh, played wow. very well. Jerry Jerry showed <laughs> yeah. up and didn't even know what was going on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He. What's a guitar, guys? He was, <laughs> well, he was like, yeah. He he asked me to play the bass <clears throat> for him on a couple of their songs. You know, him him and this other guy. Oh, was it Rob that you were playing with at the time? It or? might have been. I think it was. So, I showed up with my uh, with his bass, and he was like, "Oh, I'm not having you play tonight." It was like, "Oh, geez." So yeah, I just sat down. Did my little thing with my guitar. Did my own sort of a deal. But yeah, yeah. It was one of those things that like... I um, got blown out of the water by this guy. <laughs> you weren't prepared. It's okay. No. That's not even true. <laughs> That's not all true what he's saying here. <laughs> we hadn't practiced the bass at all. So I was a little nervous about it. And I was like, well, I'd rather him play his own stuff than play the bass because we hadn't practiced at all so it was like yeah. you know you yeah. don't you know you never know what's what's gonna happen with that but, but it ended up <laughs> sorry jerry anyhow that's where we met gilby <laughs> <laughs> so but it ended up that i just used some um some tracks that i composed behind <laughs> music <laughs> basically some sort of thing like that yeah um i met rob working who is not here by the way yeah. um, working at proof on main downtown in, in okay. louisville um yeah great place Awesome. Anyways, I said um, some sarcasm. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I met him uh, serving down there, and uh, okay. we we started playing together, and um, you know, push came to shove, and yeah, basically, I I drank a lot of coffee and caffeine one day, and decided that I was gonna make a create a band. 
sweet. I was that like, is not I, where I thought that was going. No, really. <laughs> <laughs> really. So I, I drank a lot of caffeine. I call this guy first. I'm like, Jerry, can we have people over at your place to you know have have a band practice? He's like, Yeah, sure. Yeah, sucker. <laughs> yeah, pre- dude. Pretty sure that's what he what Come he said. On, oh. And then, uh, <laughs> then I called Gilby, and I said, hey, man, would you be willing to you know, do the drums today? And I didn't even know what his schedule was like. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Called Rob, and then sure enough, that same day, we were all playing Kinda in the basement. Kind of came together. And then, and then finally, the, the fifth and final member of the band, Ian, Gilby was just like, hey, I know this keyboardist. And we're like, bring him on by. So, and it fit. <laughs> yeah. From the moment I met the guy, I was like, hey, you're in our band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I, awesome. I, I I listened to him play first. He was, well, he was incredible. He no, was, you didn't. Oh. You didn't even hear him play, and you were like, "All right, this guy, I don't even care what he plays. Like, <laughs> he's good? in." Is that good? I, I might Does have, he have the look. Well, no, it's not even that. He's, he's just he's cool. Just a really nice guy. He's just cool. <laughs> awesome. Well, how would you guys play a song for us? Yeah, let's let's hear this. <laughs> All right. Um, just uh, are let we me on play here? you the yeah. song of my. Awesome. Let me play. Yeah, we you. haven't gotten checked yet. So. The song of my people. What would you like to play first, gentlemen? Hmm. You want to start them off? Yeah. Start them off right? That's the one. We could start off with that one. Yeah. yeah. What's this one? Uh, I'm not sure what we're calling it at this point. Okay. I believe it is the 70s. This is called the 70s. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. I didn't know if it was Hold On Still or... We have multiple names it's for our song. <laughs> yeah. Today it's called. This is the 70s, gentlemen and ladies and uh, children.
So it was the 70s by Stereo Empire, who have uh, graced us with their presence here in the basement this evening. That was an awesome song. I have never heard that one, so I liked it very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank Is you that newer-ish? Um, yeah, it's got, pretty much brand new. You got cool. to hear the slightly out-of-tune bass version. Uh, um, I don't have an ear for that. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Yay! Well, it sounded great then, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sounded definitely. wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you to Kelly for kind of... Uh, Sound checking you guys as you were playing. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty impressive. <laughs> Sounded honestly. great. Uh, so, who writes the songs, or is it like more of a collaboration? It's mostly Morgan, and then partially collaboration. I guess okay. you could say. I, uh, the words are Morgan, and then the arrangement uh, changes slightly, but they're pretty much Morgan writes right now. The majority of the material and brings it to the table. Very brings nice. It to the table. Uh, so, has songwriting always come naturally to you, or? Yeah. Um, How long have you kind of been? Yeah, it has. Um, as with any kind of, I guess, the hobby, you always start out not being so very good at <laughs> what you would like to be good at. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. I spent a lot of time, a lot of my time, writing really terrible songs. Okay. Um, <laughs> songs that didn't make sense, that, uh, you know, lyrically, just, you know, a lot of adolescent things. Yeah. I hadn't, as a teenager, you don't experience enough, I think, looking back to really write something that means, yeah. you know, unless you have some kind of traumatic experience, you know, experience in your, you know, early in your life. But yeah. who wishes or your name Taylor anybody? Swift. Yeah. Or your name is Taylor <laughs> Swift and somebody else you and your father has a lot of money. Anyways, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely something that um, I, I believe came natural to me. Just the music... Uh, just, just I guess, playing music came natural to me. I yeah. My mom was a DJ. She that was my next question. Do you come from like a musical family? Well, yes and no. Um, I don't really have much background in my family musically at all. My f my brother and sister's father was a a killer drummer, killer mm -hmm. killer blues drummer. Um, so I grew up a little bit around him playing the drums. I remember as a kid really being interested in that. Um. There's videos of me when I was four, you know, asking my grandma, hey, can I have that? I want to sing. Yeah. You know, and I would do it. I would I would, I would, would sing. I mean, granted, I'm a four-year-old kid, but <laughs> and I know nothing about it. I'm just trying to have a good time. But, yeah. you know, it, it's just something that's always been in my veins and in my mm -hmm. blood. And why, I don't really know. I mean, my mom, like I said, was a DJ. She, um, she used to DJ with the 33s and the, like, like yeah. the real nice, deal, yeah. man. Like real deal. Yeah. Um, she used to do that a lot when I was a kid. So I grew up with that around the house. Uh, she used to do a lot of karaoke. Okay. There was actually a video of her singing Crazy by Patsy Cline <laughs> that I will never forget because that I would always sit there and and watch her do that. And I would sing along with her as yeah. she was, you know, as I would, I would be mom and I would ask her to put the, the tape in, mm -hmm. you know, I'd be like, mom, <laughs> put, cute. put the tape in, put the tape yeah. in. So I'd watch her sing, and I was so just blown away by it. I guess as a child, that I, it was it was something that I forever stuck with me, and mm -hmm. I, I wanted to make it, you know, not only something that I enjoy to do, but a career, man. And granted, it's a very far fetched idea nowadays to to believe that you can <laughs> make play any kind music of money. and make any kind of money yeah. and yeah. have it be Absolutely. lucrative. But but that doesn't mean you can't try. Yeah. When <laughs> when I was a kid. You know, re really little anyhow. When my mother would sing, I'd start crying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom. Because it was. <laughs> I don't know. Tears of joy. I just yeah. When because people, it was so good. If if we went to the restaurant and somebody came out singing "Happy Birthday," I'd start crying. <laughs> well, that's that's embarrassing. Oh, yeah. You never want to go to the restaurant <laughs> and hear the ha that's. That's well, like you do that as a joke to your I friend. Just, You're like, oh, it's his birthday. <laughs> Happy mean, birthday to you. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> so does this so, does this happen now if they come to sing Happy no, Birthday? Okay, I was no. going to say, I know <laughs> my next prank. No, just, <laughs> we're going out to eat after this? <laughs> no. I just it might meant, be your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just literally meant in general, people singing, especially my mother. I'm sorry, Mom. When people would sing, I would cry, cry, cry. That's but I was, hilarious. I was really little, so, uh, you know. Man. So was... <laughs> Remind me, because we had you on the show a couple months back, like like I said, and 
Jerry, you said that was the first instrument you started learning to play. Was that the bass? And then you. No, he said he well, like, that was, I can't. That was I my know f- you crafted your own little. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I made a little <laughs> guitar out of a bit of wood. But, uh. <laughs> no, I like always a craftsman. Bo, Bo did yeah. man. Well, no, my, uh. Well, my very first instrument was a harmonica when I was like three. Ooh. Yeah, so, that mine was a kazoo. Ooh. Yeah, and then, <laughs> yeah, but you know, I couldn't kazoo. really play it or anything. I made a bunch of noise and stomped in mud puddles. But then, uh, it's the best kind of music. Oh yeah, but uh, and then I got an acoustic. <laughs> ew, I got an acoustic guitar when I was like seven. And then censor that. I got an electric. <laughs> got an electric. Yeah, my the the first electric instrument I ever had was a bass. Okay. But uh, you know, I mean, I just piddled around out with it you know by yeah. myself and then uh eventually got into got an electric guitar all that kind of stuff so. yeah yeah and what about you back there gilby i can't like, what? see you he hasn't oh. said much <laughs> yeah. how long you've been I'm slapping asking. those skins man yeah. yeah that's what i do i slap the skins stay in the back i'm never in, actually in the back and quiet i just I, i've been working a lot and i'm kind of oh. tired <laughs> so, uh, I'm just, i drank a red bull and that didn't help if that didn't you know, oh. tell you, you. Not, you not get wings ouch I did not get wings. <laughs> Maybe I needed to get the bigger can. That's yeah. not what a rock star is supposed to do, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Gilby, how long have you, I mean, was drumming your first? Um, I started drumming when I was really little. Before I got a drum set, I, I my teachers had to hate me, but I would be the kid in class with pencils oh, making beats. You know what I mean? It's like all the all the all the wannabe little uh hood kids around say people spit beats. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? Oh man. <laughs> and uh I started doing that and then my parents would never buy me a drum set because I mean obvious reasons, like yeah. noise, yeah. you yes, know. Yes, exactly. So then one day I came home with one and they were like, Oh crap <laughs> <laughs> And uh, they they never let they never made me stop you know if I ever wanted to play drums it was always allowed and I just nice. I've always played love drums love doing it and yeah. uh, I've been playing for probably probably about fifteen years now I'm twenty four I probably started when I was about ten the first show we saw you guys at uh, you guys kind of played musical instruments so are you all pretty like comfortable with other instruments playing other instruments as well. Yeah, yeah, Jerry's of all trades, so if, <laughs> if anything you want, Jerry can do. We're, uh, yeah. Well, for the most part, yeah, we're all multi instrumentalists, except for uh, me. Except I'm Gilby. a drummer only, but okay. but I can record you and make you sound pretty darn awesome. So right. yeah, he's well, that matters. He yeah, that matters too. That yeah, does yeah, absolutely. Um, so, where do the ideas come from for your songs? Like, is it just like everyday life, or I mean, with the with the song you just heard, the yeah. '70s, um, it is it is written. Well, the I guess inspiration for the song, um, uh, there was an affair that happened. Um, I'm not gonna say anything more about that. Okay. Um, and it's kind of just about a couple who knows they're it's over, you mm-hmm. know, and they want to spend one last night together, and um, you know, just like it used to be. Yeah. In the '70s, I see you again. Okay. And that's that's what it, what's what it says in the end of the song, a little hook, if you will. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. It, it can be interpreted in many different ways. And Absolutely. That's, uh, As all good songwriting yeah. should kind of do. And that's that's how I that's how I try to write my songs. Yeah. Um you can you can see it through many, many different outlets and mm-hmm. you don't it's not just, you know, it's uh, well, he's talking about this and that's yeah. it and you know, people can take what what from they want. Yeah. So yeah. um but uh, it's more my inspiration comes from just things that happen to me and okay. my emotions, and uh, basically I'm ex- I'm I'm exploring my emotions, mm-hmm. um, and that's that's huge for me because I, I don't really know how to say it otherwise. Yeah. So it, it's a very seems like a lot of mu- musicians are that way. Yeah, like it's a release process. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so I don't play any instruments, so I'm always curious to know when you are actually writing the songs. Is does the melody come to you first, or is it more of the words? Ooh, I love this part. <laughs> this is how it works. This is how I write music. It might be different for somebody else. Yeah, but... oh, absolutely. We get all kinds of different answers. That's why yeah. I always ask. And as a songwriter myself, I'm interested in these things. Awesome. <laughs> well, basically, um, probably 95 percent of everything that I have written has all come to me right on the spot. Okay. I keep a little recording device with me, mm-hmm. and as soon as the melody hits me, I've like I've been in the shower, and I've thought of something, yeah. and I've jumped out of the shower, ran like just completely wet all the way to the bedroom, getting the carpet off all disgustingly wet and yeah. messed up. No towel. Just no to towel. record a melody. <laughs> 
just to record a melody on my phone. Were you there, Gilby? His, <laughs> his roommates <laughs> love him, let me tell you. Oh, oh. <laughs> just to record the melody and, and, the, and the lyrics I'm thinking of on the phone, a lot of times um, I find my best way of getting my true feelings out is to improv. Okay. I go back and listen to what I, I have, mm -hmm. and I say, wow, okay, this is exactly what I'm feeling right now this is where it's all coming from i don't know how i how i do that i don't i don't know how or understand how i do it yeah um but basically i'll take like maybe two words that i've improved and say to myself like hey this is this is what i was trying and intending to get out so i take those two words and that melody and i write an entire song around it so basically, at that point, I stop improving and I and I and I think about the the, the, the true topic and the idea yeah. that I'm trying to get to get across. Um, uh, with my infatuation, for instance, which is mm -hmm. the new single we have out right now, you can like I said, you can access that um, Facebook.com/slash/stereoempire. You can go straight to our Reverb Nation from there. Um, download, buy it, whatever. Free music. Yeah. 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 you can buy it for free. <laughs> that song is a true exploration of my infatuation and passion with the 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 one I love, mm -hmm. um, and that that's come that's come to me. That song took a little while to write because there was so much just raw emotion in that, yeah. and it was there was so much I wanted to say, and it was such a delicate topic that I had you to want to get it across the right yeah way. the right way without without being too. Um, you know, without being too, what's the word? I didn't want to be too frank. Yeah. If too you will. forward. Too forward. Thank you. <laughs> <More> explicit, <laughs> maybe. I didn't want to be too forward with <laughs> too, it, and I didn't want to. Uh, too graphic. I didn't want it to be too graphic. Yeah. <laughs> because it's explicit not. Explicit material. It's not about that. It's not about the graphic. <laughs> yeah. It's not about the, the the act or whatever itself. It's mm -hmm. it's it's about the passion mm -hmm. and the the feeling. You know. So a lot of it just comes from the things that I feel and, mm -hmm. and like I said exploring my my emotions and and um you know hoping that my music can you know touch somebody like yeah bands that I've loved in the past have helped me through situations yeah. and oh, yeah. problems and things like Absolutely. that so it's interesting to hear because we get so many like all pretty much all of the musicians that we've had come in they all have a way of like either they keep like notepads on them mm -hmm. or they like record like a memo in their phone mm -hmm. or something just because it seems to just come to them kind of like instantly. I mean, he even does it. Well, not as much lately, yeah. but I used to carry around a notepad in my back yeah. pocket, but yeah. cuz my words like my lyrics, they come out of nowhere. Like I have no idea what they're. <laughs> I don't know the either. Last my songs about like, oh, I was just, <laughs> I was just saying a bunch of words, man. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought of it. Yeah. <laughs> it was just it was I mean, I like them. They're 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 cool to me, but yeah. it was an accident. <laughs> it was. Most I don't of the know time. what happened. You know, yeah, I'm going to release our EP I and just be like, out. I didn't mean to, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> um <laughs> I came up with all these recordings. You know? <laughs> Here you go. You guys deal with them. Here you go, Internet. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're <laughs> welcome. Uh, so let's go to another song. Do you want me to play a recording, or do you guys want to play something? Oh, like I, I need well, I need to tune up. Yeah, he, just, he needs to tune let's up. Let's play so a song. So. We just we just heard the rundown on my infatuation. I know that's what I was about its writing at. and whatnot. So yeah. why don't we why don't we, we cue that, that guy? That's a good idea. idea. This is my infatuation, guys. By Stereo Empire from a basement. Under on oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're lying closely in the dark. It's a little cold. Outside with the moon is just 
Infatuation by Stereo Empire, who we happen to have in the studio with us this evening. Yeah. <laughs> if you're uh, just tuning in, shame hello. on you. Um, yeah. <laughs> naughty, naughty. <laughs> shame on you, senoro. Uh, Senora. 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 It's been fun. They, uh, I wish that the mics were on when um, we were Boom. listening to the recording of my infatuation because they all were yeah, doing like vibrato, off. like <laughs> singing along with themselves. <laughs> uh, so this is another question that we like to ask um, and kind of put you on the spot. Uh, ask y'all. Uh, yeah. What genre do you call yourself? Well, right now I would I would put us pop just rock. Pop rock. Yeah, Poppy, basic, pop, okay. Rocky. Yeah, pop rock with yeah. like with a modern twist. Okay. I mean that's I mean it's it's very poppy. It's very dancey. It's very, but it does have elements of rock in it. And I know mm-hmm. like a lot of times if you say you're a rock band these days, people kind of it's very broad. Eh, yeah. <laughs> you know they stick their nose up at it. They don't mm-hmm. really know what they're they're getting into. But you know um, we stand behind what we're doing 100. Yeah. percent Like and you know. I believe truly that if we just do this right, you know, we can make some really good music. Absolutely. Or we can make some really people, you know, a lot of people happy and have yeah, a good time. It's definitely like, fun. Right um, yeah. You guys, you are the first person who's actually able to just say what genre you yeah. are. Like, Jerry, do you remember when we asked you, like, what genre you considered, like, your solo I stuff? Think Jerry just said kind of folk. Yeah, he was just like, kind of folky. folky. He gave us a straight issue. Yeah. See, the the problem like is that I don't I don't really like the late. You know, everyone yeah. needs a label for everything. Like absolutely. I mean, I just it's music. Like, why yeah. can't it just be like we're a band? We I'm said, always we're, curious. Yeah, because I don't know what to call Tall Squares. I just say indie rock because that covers pretty much everything that's a little yeah. weird. And well, different. I mean, yeah. the problem the problem is you have to put a label on it. And the problem, the, the reason why is because well, where, is those, like, guys, those guys with the suspenders on and the, the tie, you know, up in the, the <laughs> vice president room of, you know, Geffen Records, they're asking themselves, well, where are we going to market these kids? Yeah. What well, are they're also do? probably being like, where did the music industry go? <laughs> why am I homeless? <laughs> why am I? It's, exactly. Exactly. So it's like, you know, that's, that's why I think like, we've gotten into this whole thing where people want a label. They want to know. Yeah. You know, what do you sound like before they oh, listen to you? I mean, you? it's definitely everybody needs to. And, you know, and I get it because it's like, oh, are they death metal or are they easy listening? <laughs> right. Exactly. You right. got to give them hey. kind of a gauge in where you're at. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't it's put like, it in a genre, then you've got a, a disco band and a metal band at yeah. the same show and nobody knows what's going on. That's that would true. be sweet. I kind of want to organize <laughs> something like that. That would actually be really awesome. <laughs> I would I would go to that. Yeah. What yeah. Would disco be metal cooler? show? What would yes. be even cooler is if... You could take a disco band and a metal band and put it together and uh, like a, have them play the same song in the same key and metal. Yeah, okay. I like this idea. I'm getting overwhelmed. I would go see that show. I'm getting excited. So I like asking these questions because like, things like this kind of come up, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, what's happening? <laughs> so, as a musician, who are your biggest influences? Oh, I Ooh, love this question. That's a hard one. That's not a freaking hard one. It's Ooh. a great, easy I'll one. I'll go around. I, and ask yeah, and I everyone. usually say, "What are you listening to right now?" What? Yeah. I, oh, jeez. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, I, I could tell he's pumped on somebody right like, now. Like <laughs> a new artist that I, I honestly, in the rock genre, that's considered indie rock right now um that i absolutely just fell in love with the moment i heard them young the giant man like they came out of nowhere S- such know. a great mm-hmm. band i don't no? know who that no, is I'll have all to right check them out have you heard the song it's like um life's too short to even care at all whoa yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. losing my mind losing my See, mind yeah that's what we cough syrup. but anyways i don't want to i don't want to you know try to uh give them any <laughs> yeah. advertisement uh but that's a that's a great band that I that I that's newer um, yeah. that I absolutely love. Of course, I I love Radiohead. Mm-hmm. I love Muse. I love Coldplay, mm-hmm. uh, Death Cab. Very you know he 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 always had the very poetic um, yes. writing love, style. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Ben Gibbard's ben a really good amazing. really good songwriter. Oh, he's I'll incredible. Say. I've seen him a few times and they're great. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, but I also have influences from when I was a kid, man. Um, you know, back in high school, I used to listen to. Uh, Stereo Empire. 
Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, I used to listen to Story of the Year, um, you know, uh, Haste of the Day, um, Kill Switch, yeah. you know, a lot of heavier bands. Yeah. So I have a lot of influence from from that heavy rock style too. But uh, I find as, as I'm, I'm growing as, a, as an artist and a musician that I'm starting to appreciate um, – everything yeah you know there's even hip-hop that i'm like whoa mm-hmm. you know absolutely uh, it's just like, whoa. Yeah. like that new song i woke up in a new bugatti <laughs> i woke up in a new you've heard that I'm, haven't no, you no not me no. oh my god i don't gosh. i don't know that one but it sounds right. awesome i listen to like hi- hip-hop from like the 90s or oh like up man to i actually got this record player and we have been shopping for like this is totally off track i'm sorry but it's a lot of fun we've been like getting these old like <laughs> we got some wu-tang we got some yeah. def jeff <laughs> we got some fat boys wu-tang clan ain't nothing though yeah <laughs> mess around with. Oh. That's awesome. Yeah. Especially <laughs> on vinyl. That's just that's, oh, it's that's what it's at. It's yeah. Oh, it's 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 fun. So but anyways, back to our guests. <laughs> Jerry. I think musical Jerry's influences. Turn. Yes, please. Oh. What are you listening to right now? Right now I've been on a big opera kick. Really? Wow. I'm not, I'm I did not, not sweet. see that. Yeah, it's no, like uh, me either. <laughs> <laughs> well I uh yeah, I mean I've been on a classical kick for a while, you know, driving around I've got, you know, the classical station on. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, so, <laughs> well, <that> right. <laughs> so, That's you know, the, favorite song. Not really. The other day, <laughs> uh, the other day, I think it was Saturday, some opera song came on, and I was like, you know, I'm really in the mood for that. So I threw that that Pandora. App? Yeah, yeah. So, yes. I'm not very. Did you cool. really just type in opera on Pandora? Yes, that I works. Did. Holy <laughs> crap! <laughs> I did. That's and awesome. I mean, I had. It was funny, you know. I, I'm. Uh, I work at this shop, jet ski mechanic, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, I had this opera music just blaring, loud, <laughs> loud, loud, just blaring <laughs> the stuff, and uh, you know, these customers would come up. And mind you, you know, when I'm at work, I'm wearing greasy clothing. I'm all, you know, really rough looking. <laughs> Listening to opera. Listen and, to opera. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that makes customers. The classiest mechanic uh, ever. Yeah. <laughs> customers would come up and, you know, ask me questions and. Order some you know, caviar. I'd, and I'd answer. You know, well, they, <laughs> they just completely dis- disregarded, you know, ignored the music or at least acted like they were. Yeah. And I'd love to know what those guys were thinking. Like, <laughs> like what is going on here? <laughs> but, uh Anyhow, like it's a trick. Yeah, <laughs> something. Am I gonna be murdered now? Like, <laughs> no. But uh, <laughs> that's what I would think. But yeah, and then uh, I mean, of course, I, I listen to a lot of uh, just a lot of stuff. Uh, everything from uh, White Chapel, heavy deathcore, heavy crazy metal to, to Here uh, Come the Mummies. Here Come the Mummies. That's one I just recently. If got you don't know who they are, prepare to laugh. Look yeah, them up. check that stuff out. It's hilarious. Yeah, um, and very talented. Those guys are really, really, really good. Um, anyhow, that's that. You know, just everything. I listen to just about everything. And sounds like it. Yeah. Uh, I like hip hop stuff. I like electronic music. I like. Yeah. We talked about Tom Waits with you. Oh yeah, Tom Waits. I love Tom Waits. Um, Definitely one of my one favorites, of favorites as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How about you, Gilby? I feel like I can't see you. Hello. <laughs> Any musical influences as a drummer? He looks oh, like he's just man. hanging out in the jazz club, like behind them, <laughs> like <laughs> just chilling. Like, he, he reminds he me of the guy in one of those long holders. Ooh, I would give it. Yeah. <laughs> he reminds me of the guy in that uh, Bill Withers video. He's back there playing the drums. He's got the sunglasses on, <laughs> nothing but a cheesy smile on his face. <laughs> my uh, my musical influences, goodness, it's it's hard to say for a drummer because yeah. like I have to rhythm is a lot different than melody or other things. Absolutely. Like, so uh, if you were to look at my iPod, you would probably think I w- were mentally ill. Like, <laughs> yeah. It goes from Justin Timberlake, who <laughs> I am taking my little sister to see, and so excited about it. Dude, nice. I, you know what? Don't Honestly, hate. That, don't no, hate. that'd probably be fun. I'd, um, <laughs> I won't hate on that. Uh, my little sister has Down syndrome, so it's it's guaranteed to be a fun time. Absolutely. Like, oh uh, she's going to lose her mind and just... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but um, I, I I went and saw In Sync with her as a kid and took her to that concert. I've seen a lot of pop shows and like I love the pop element I saw of music. I, I think I was about the same age. I so, I <laughs> um, yes. but I, I love the pop element because like it's the only aspect where you get the show every night. It's just the huge twenty five people on stage. You know what I mean? The show, and then yeah. you go to rock shows anymore, and it's like the band comes out, and if it's a really big band, they have some pyrotechnics, and like that's their show. Oh no! So that's I mean I. No, no. Well, I've seen I, I've seen a lot of bands that 
just kind of disappoint live well, lately, I, I feel like. I went and saw Whitechapel a while back, <laughs> and that was amazing. Yeah. I mean, their stage presence... Yeah. Phenomenal. I just when you when you compare that to a, a Justin Timberlake show, they're complete night and day different. Oh, yeah. You know Absolutely what I mean? Different. There like, wasn't a bunch of dancers. <laughs> <or anything>. <laughs> <laughs> Which but, I know there's, there's not enough of that in metal. I don't think. I the love dancers. Oh, have you guys ever heard of Foxy Shazam? Oh, yes, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, when they first went on tour, they had a swing, like like a bus that followed them with just people that would swing dance at their shows. So they would like have metal and then these little jazzy like swing dance and break downs. <laughs> Sweet. Um, I saw a show when they were first starting. It was absolutely one of the craziest things ever. But I've seen <laughs> I've seen Norma Jean live like twenty times. Oh yeah, I. Um, the, it's a metal band. They're yeah, technically a yeah. post hardcore. Yeah. If you want to get really yeah, technical they, with they the get, genre, and they get they get intense yeah. on the genres. Oh, with the, with the hardcore music. Yes. My, uh, oh yeah. Post grindcore, grungecore, yeah. man. My, get it uh, right. <laughs> my friend, you, you mentioned that's you mentioned going a little that too Foxy Shazam. Does he have a shirt on out there? Yeah, oh, like, <laughs> dude. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. So speaking of of shows. What are your upcoming shows? I, I know you have two big ones coming up yeah. this weekend. Right? We've got uh, this weekend. We are playing at Dillinger's the in New Albany. Tour. We love the weekend tour. Tour. Weekend We're tour. staying in Indiana this weekend, uh, actually. We're going from uh, New Albany all the way up to Indianapolis. We're going to be playing at the Whiskey Business up there. Whiskey cool. Business. Then the following week, the 13th of June, I think it is a Thursday night. Mm-hmm. We're playing uh, at Diamonds, the concert hall downtown that, in the Highlands. Is it, So that's on the 13th? Uh-huh. On you are in the day. band, right, mate? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, on, on the calendar, it says the 13th and the 14th, and I was kind of confused about Cause that. Because it's an all-night thing, man. You're going to need the next day to recover. It's going to be so awesome. Um, <laughs> but uh, we are actually, right now, if you go onto our Facebook, we are doing a ticket giveaway for that show. That's Tickets right. to the Rusted Root Show are $22 a pop. Yeah, you guys are going to be And we got Yeah, man. Oh, my way. I, Dude, oh, my way. way. So we've got two tickets right <laughs> now. If you go into one. our Facebook, we've got a status up. If you share that, you're entered to win two free tickets to that show. Very we've nice. got 30 spokes. Uh, what's the other uh, band here from Louisville that's on it? Oh, I can't remember. 30 spokes and... Somebody Facebook it quick! Oh, <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... Uh, we're sorry. We'll work on that. We're working Stone on that. We're really sorry, guys. Stone Wheel. I knew it was Stone Wheel. Wheel. So we've got Wheel. Stone Wheel, um, 30 spokes, us all opening for Rusted Reel on the 13th. Hop on Facebook, share that status. You're entered to win two free tickets. Who three. doesn't like yeah. free stuff? That's awesome. Two. I'm going to enter it myself just so I can, you know what I mean? Yeah. And can can be, I win, guys? You'll be sent on your way. <laughs> yeah. You'll be. <laughs> to the show. Quite disqualified. No, yeah. 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 You get to go in for free anyway. So you don't have the qualifications like, to win these tickets. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You're taking up three spots here. <laughs> uh, and another exciting thing you guys have coming up in July, uh, July 6th, we have the Poor Castle Festival, which we're really excited to have you guys a part of. Yes. We are, so, you know, we are trying to get all of the musicians um, that are playing Poor Castle into the studio. Last week we had Forrest. He, yeah, you uh, guys are our second installment in the... Uh, yes, poor the, castle lineup. Uh, Dude, that place it's gonna be so awesome. Yeah. I went and checked out the Apocalypse Brew yeah, Co. Yeah, Apocalypse is that, great. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's just an and awesome place. And it's four place. bucks for a big old beer. You yeah. cannot beat that. And it's oh, craft, it's craft locally craft brewed, and it's amazing, delicious. Awesome beer. Yeah, yes. it's awesome. There ain't no Budweiser. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's no. true. So, uh, yeah, we have um, we have Stereo Empire playing at ten fifteen. I think, if I can remember correctly, in the morning. P- no. PM. Wake oh, up! Whoa. Wake up, Louisville! <laughs> I'd have to have my folders real early. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm, black silk. No, no. The, the, <laughs> the doors are at one, um, and then uh, Kathleen Hoy will open up the festival at two p.m. Um, it'll be free until four. So yeah, so make it out and make it out. Here. All it the will, awesome. It's five dollars starting at four p.m. So oh, that's um, great. yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're really, really excited. So. Next week, we're hoping to get another um, musician that'll be there, too, because we're really trying to get this out there. It's going to be so much fun. Food it, it, it really, trucks. Oh, my gosh. I'm just I so excited wait. about the lineup. It's it's just going to be so much All fun. All local and regional music, so we're really excited about that. Let's get to another song, guys. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, we'll just talk at the night away. Over here. <laughs> we've, yeah, got, we've got one more fun. you could just play, or do we want to play one in here? Uh, we, well. could, we, could, we, could, we could play a little Take My Hand. Awesome. You want to play it? Do you want to, or do you want to just... I don't care. I, I, it doesn't matter to me, Jerry. Live music is um, fun. Can right. I phone a friend? <laughs> <laughs> I'll play. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> 
So this song, uh, this is the first one that we actually recorded. This is Take My Hand. And believe it or not, this was the very first song I ever actually wrote. Wow. Well, after I became comfortable with my writing. Bar, 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 bar,
Very nice. That was uh, Take My Hand by Stereo Empire. I know, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. There's so many now, uh, people in here. It's amazing how many people we can fit in this small basement. And the digital crowd goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've played that several times um, here in the basement, and it's awesome to see live, and uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Three fifths. It's, a little, you it's a little different with three fifths. Yeah. Of it's still so awesome, though. Seriously. Thank you thank you, you know, uh, you guys know Kevin Cox from uh, yes, Kevin. Uh, Heavy Head. He's yeah. great. Spotlight. He's very supportive. His we daughter. Thinks we sing Johnny Applesauce at the end of that? She's like, Johnny Applesauce, Johnny Applesauce, wow. Johnny Applesauce. Oh, I love that. You guys I think just you should. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Applesauce, Johnny Applesauce. <laughs> right, just this song's called just Johnny Applesauce. Out of left field, take my hand. Johnny Applesauce. <laughs> That's adorable. I'm okay with that. If the, if the seven-year-old little girl wants to hear our song again oh. because she thinks it says that, then that sounds great. It's amazing what kids can come well, up with. We should record a version just for her. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. We should do an opera version. Of it though, yeah. oh. Johnny, <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> it's been fun tonight. I'll tell you what, we're gonna go over a little bit just because we started late, if that's okay. Um, because I wanted to ask, uh, you guys have recorded your own stuff. I know Gilby is kind of into that, I mean, he's good at all that kind of uh, stuff. But is there an album in the works? Like, are we uh, getting to that well, point? We got a demo on yeah. the way, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's definitely a, it's, it's a rough demo, um, you know, it's not that rough. <laughs> it's not well, that rough. That's a good it's thing. Good. It's, 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 it is. <laughs> we're, we're, we're lucky enough to be working with a, a guy named Steve McCabe. Um, if, okay. you, if you look him up online, he uh, he's doing all the mixing and mastering for us. We're doing all the actual recording. Cool. He actually did the drum sound for us as well because I just don't have the the capability to record eight nine mic inputs. Like it's just. Yeah. But um, his list of clients is absolutely re like just ridiculous. He's worked with cool. everybody. He's been in the studio with Bono. Like oh, it's, wow. And we're lucky enough. Um, um, that Steve is yeah, actually cutting us a deal, an awesome and we are um, really excited to release that. It's going to be a three-song, I think, demo. Uh, might, so might be some bonus material on there for yeah. the people who buy it early or something. Awesome. But um, it'll be a three-song demo, hopefully available at the start of August. We're going to hopefully... Is that the kind of the goal date? That's yeah. always going yeah. to put a goal on it. We're working to put a, a, a release show together yeah, soon. Yeah, we we really want to kind of get the deets finalized. So. Awesome. So, like you said, people can go to your Facebook page to find your music. Mm -hmm. Did you say it was free? Free download? It is Come free on, right now. Free. free. If you're listening, I go didn't check even it out. Know that. Yeah. <laughs> ReverbNation.com <laughs> slash Stereo Empire. Awesome. And then, yeah, Facebook.com. Or if you just want to Google Stereo Empire. Empire, I easy. believe. That's easy. That's easy too. That is yeah. easy. You can find them all. Yes. Reverb Nation, Facebook, We're on all the, the blogs. We're on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> or you can go see them live this Friday at Dillinger's. Woo. Good heavens. Um, live Somebody at Dillinger's. Yeah. Um, www. What, uh, what time are you guys <laughs> playing at Dillinger's? We don't. No, actually. Really? The set list will be determined the night of. Okay, cool. I think, I think they said that. I think the doors open up at eight. Eight. I'll, I'll, so just I, that's come what at I eight. Would I'm sure yeah. they always yeah. have great music at Dillinger's, so I'm sure yeah. that um, it won't be a mistake Dillinger's. to uh, to to show up. Early. We're definitely yeah, gonna be good. hanging out beforehand, I mean, uh, awesome. talking to people, you know, hanging out afterwards, yeah. you know, shooting around. Eight thirty is when it starts. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Kelly. Hero. All right. Uh, awesome. So check out Dillinger's. And if you're in New Albany, by any chance, I mean, not New Albany, I'm sorry, Indianapolis, um, Indianapolis. you guys will be up there too. So yeah. that's really exciting. With you guys have a busy weekend. It's going to be a great awesome. weekend. Yeah. Awesome. Check out the Breakdown Kings they're, too, guys. We're playing with them and they're really, great. really cool. Breakdown Kings are really great. Yeah. We played with them at uh, Phoenix Hill not too long ago. Really good guys. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for uh, joining us in the studio. Um, I had a great time. I don't have anything to go out on, so we're just going <laughs> to do a... We got a, a, We got something. We can leave yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, we can Let's end it. That. That That's a great perfect, idea. Yeah. <laughs> From a basement on a hill. Oh. Yes. From a basement on a hill. Oh. Hey. Ba -ba -ba -ba. From a basement on a hill. Yeah. Woo. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 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 uh,
uh, one, uh, two, uh, and uh, we're out. Up next, the debauchies. They all come.